This is Bright Star calling. Please hold. Mr. Caspar, Miss Kendall for you. You're a very difficult person to reach. Look, Julian, I don't have time to talk right now. So can this wait till I get into the office? Have you seen the Trill Kill promo I sent you? Yeah. Just now. It certainly is different. Is that all you have to say? Look, Julian, I just think up the games. I'll let you worry about how to sell them, okay? That's an extremely poor attitude, Carly. Have you run your messages yet? No. Why? I suggest you do so. Good morning, Miss Kendall. Here are your messages. Mr. Ingram called at 9.22 a.m. He will call again. Your 3 p.m. meeting with the graphics department has been canceled. We are watching you, Miss Kendall. You cannot run away because we are watching you. 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 We are watching you.
we are watching 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 good morning i'm collecting for the church of neurology would you care to donate <laughs> Ta -da! my nepsis it's a joke well i'm not in the mood what are you doing here i told you we should have called this is my friend Maggie, Mag, my sister Carly. Hi. You know you're welcome here any time. All I ask is a little warning. I've got a layover to kill. The stews is packed, so I thought I could play out here. Well, this is really bad timing. Got somebody here? A guy, maybe? Bobby Actor Age. Oh, there's my cab. I'm not even ready. Will you go down and tell him to wait? What's your last slave guy up? Bobby! Okay, okay, take it easy. Nice machine. You know much about computers? No. Then don't touch it. Cap's waiting for you whenever you're ready. Come on, let me take this one, please. How did you get in here? This place is off limits to everyone, and that includes you. Although you like to think of me as the devil incarnate, I can assure you I used the door. It was open. It's a good thing I don't have a suspicious nature. What do you want, Julian? Will everything be ready for the convention on Monday? Yes. Just spent three months making sure it will. Are you planning a vacation? Extend me the courtesy of a straight answer. All right. I'm overworked. I need some time off. Do I need your approval? You will not leave until after the software convention. It would be a trifle embarrassing if our star attraction did not show up. Oh, thrill kill is the star. Buyers could care less about me. I consider you to be my most important asset at this moment. You will leave me a number where I can reach you on this vacation. I'll leave it on your desk. And I'll see you Monday. 
could. Flight out tonight. It'll just take half an hour. Well, I'll try, but just a sec. Come on in, it's open. Are you there? Now, where? Got it. Give me 20 minutes. Yes? Uh, Miss Kendall here? Carly? Is Carly Kendall here? Yes, that is my question. No. I'm her sister. Maybe I can help. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's police business. It only concerns uh, Carly Kendall. So where is she, please? What has she done? That was her on the phone, wasn't it? You're the detective? Detect? Well, this, is, uh, this has been enchanting. Uh, you've been a great help. Thank you so very much. The pleasure was all yours. Drive me to the cake. I have to see Carly. Now? Something bizarre is going on. Aren't you going to change first? No time. I'll do it later. I'll go get my coat. Disappointed in you, Carly. I've done quite a lot for you, and you go and do this? Your actions prompted me to do a little investigating. Well, I checked, and it's all gone. You aren't much of a team player, are you, Kelly? No. Oh. Where is the money? Clooney Drive.
Adrian. You're early. I wasn't quite convinced you'd show up. You had me worried. Oh, you don't really think I'd want to make an enemy out of you, do you? I'll just get my things and uh, we can split. Relax. I thought you said you were in a hurry. Should I be? I'm gonna get myself a drink. I think you could use one yourself. I guess I'm not making myself clear. They know. We don't have time for this. Why? Did they follow you here? No, but it won't take them long to figure out where I am. You know, you look spooked. Relax. Drink up. You know, uh, I did a lot of thinking on my way over here. And I think your idea is best. I can't risk being seen at Bright Star. I'll have to meet you at the airport. So you'll have to pick up the money. Where is it? Uh-uh. Not so fast. I'm only doing this because Caspar's on to me, so don't get any bright ideas. Absolutely. Where did you stash it? It's in the filing cabinet. In my office. Here's the case. Mm. To success. Partner. I'll have to call a cab. I'll be right down. Idea. I'm standing here at the cake feeling like an absolute idiot. Is this some kind of a game or what? Bobby, I am in big trouble. Now, listen, I don't have time to explain everything right now. So I'm going to give you a phone number. Hold on a second. Lend me a pen. This is mine. Why don't I just clean this up? Another drink? Oh, yes, please. If anything happens to me, I want you to call that number. Now listen, there's a word that I've written down on a cigarette package. The cigarette package is next to my terminal in the den. Speak up, you're fading on me. Uh, I can't tell you what the word is right now. I don't know if the line's clean. Now remember, Bob, the number and the word. Now you've got to promise me that you won't say anything to anybody about any of this. Now, if everything goes all right, I'll call you the day after tomorrow, and you can forget we ever had this conversation, okay? But if you don't hear from me, I want you to call the number. Who's? Bobby, I gotta go. Wish me luck. Adrian?
Adrian? were too late. Someone has already gotten to poor Carly before us. So what now? I want some answers. Look, we're just wasting our time here. I don't care who killed her. She had it coming. Let the cops figure it out. No! No police! They start investigating her and they start digging up a lot of other people's dirt as well. Things first. We have to get rid of Carly here. No, thank you. I don't want any part of this. You are already a part of this. And so are you. How is this going to get us the money? It is going to buy us some time. Time that we can use to figure out what she did with the money. Time to find out which one of the others is playing their own game. Okay, okay. So what do you want me to do now? Maggie, I'll just be a sec. I'm just going to change into my uniform and I'll be right out. Carly, you home? Carly? Hold it! Someone's just come in. What the hell do we do now? Carly?
freezing out there. Hurry up. Do I have time to fix my face? Hell, we wasted enough time already. Do it after we check in. It'll take two minutes. We're late again. The supervisor's going to have our ass. Do it late. All right, all right. I'm coming. What now? I just left Carly a note to tell her I'll reschedule and come back tomorrow. Okay? Adrian, you must forgive me, but you didn't really think that I'd trust you with all that money, did you? By the time you see this tape, I'll have picked up the money and be on my way to Rio, as per our arrangement. We'll meet in the hotel, like we planned, and we'll split the money. I just feel a lot better knowing that I have the money with me. You must forgive my deception. So I'll see you there. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, have a nice flight. Well, hello again. I let myself in. Have you got some kind of ID, or didn't you pass the test? Frank Gillette, 51 Division. Look, uh, about yesterday, um, I came on kind of strong. I'm sorry. There's no excuse. You were rude. Yeah, well, I've been feeling uh, kind of bad about it. Of course, uh, your attitude didn't help matters any, but, well, I should have been professional enough to overlook it. That's it? That's what you call an apology? I called your sister this morning. No one answered. Is she around? Carly's a big girl. She comes and goes whenever she likes. Now, I've got to be at the health club in 20 minutes. Oh, the health place uh, just down here? Great. I'll drop by and see you. We'll talk then, okay? Now we're back to pushy. Yeah, well, uh, people sometimes tell me that, but um, I just thought you might be curious about what your sister was mixed up in. I am. Good. Then we'll talk. Girls, friends of yours? They were. Now, can we get this over with while I'm still welcome here? <sighs> What's Carly gotten herself into? Well, I've been watching your sister off and on for the past couple of months. Uh, she's been my only link to a bank fraud I've been investigating. God. I think you've got your signals crossed. Carly works for a computer company. She designs video games. She's no saint, but she's no crook either. Uh, well, we're talking about a whole lot of hard cash here. Uh, your sister, along with a few others, came up with a damn near perfect computer scam. It involved tampering with uh, corporate accounts, creating enough dummy accounts till she'd siphoned off more than three and a half million dollars. <clears throat> hey, this isn't so hard. Yeah, well, now try it with the weights. Besides, you're not doing it right anyway. Look, none of this sounds like the Carly I know. Well, maybe you don't know her very well. Anyway, things are going great for a couple of years. 
but I'm willing to lay odds that uh, good old Carly got greedy. She secretly closed the accounts and uh, pulled the cash, neglecting, of course, to inform her partners. Am I starting to make any sense at all? Look, Gillette. Uh, call me Frank. Look, Gillette. Carly doesn't always confide in me, but if what you say is true, I'm sure I'd know about it. Funny, that's what I figured, too, and I'm no computer whiz. Just imagine what nasty conclusions Carly's partners are jumping to. I think this conversation has reached an end. Oh, no, it's just beginning. Meaning? Meaning I'm the best friend you've got right now, so quit acting like a little snot-nosed brat and come clean with me. I've got nothing to tell you. Oh, I think you do. You may not know it, but uh, I think you do. Look, I gotta take off. Ah. Now, let's get together later, okay? We'll grab a couple of beers and you can fill in what you can. Uh, I get off around seven. You know the Vegas Club? I've heard of it. We'll be there around eight, okay? Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone to screw off. Certainly. But first, I'd like to talk with you, Miss Campbell. Do I know you? I think I can say that I have known your sister, Carly, quite intimately. This was a very bad thing she did to us, Miss Kendall. I'm sure you'll agree. Look, if you don't screw off... I... I am a very patient man, Miss Ken. But my friends are not. All we want is what's rightfully ours. Is this so unreasonable? You can walk away, Miss Kendall, but you can't hide. Right, little girl. No more games. Where did Carly stash our money? I'll ask you nicely one more time. If I get the wrong answer, your mama's gonna have two dead little girls. God help me, please! You? I think they tried to kill me. Oh, no, no, no. He just wanted to put a scare into you. There was a man and a woman in there. They think I've got their money. I don't even know who they are. Hey, come on. Just settle down. It's okay. He's gone now, okay? 
Oh, no, don't start bawling. I can't handle that kind of stuff. Look, none of this would have happened if I hadn't been late. I'm sorry. Hey, look, you hungry? I am. I'm starving. What do you say we grab a bite, okay? You said Carly was dead. Yeah, they're just trying to scare you. Forget it. Burgers? You like burgers? Picture this scenario. Now, Carly, your sister, gets mixed up with this scam. Now, how deep, we don't know, but a uh, good guess is pretty deep, right? Well, over three years, they're sucking two, maybe three million bucks from all kinds of corporate accounts into several dummy accounts. Now, she suspects that we're onto her, right? Now, she panics and does a very dumb thing. Over a period of time, she closes the accounts and scrams with the cash. Now, her friends go to check the account, and bingo, no dough. They don't know where she is, they don't know where the money is. They? Who's they? Well, if I knew who they were, I'd have the case solved, wouldn't I? Oh, thanks very much. Ah, food. Let's see. Chips for me, teeny weeny for you, and teeny weeny for moi. All right. Well, the thing we have to face is, if they're ripe and Carly's dead, not, I don't know saying she is. We don't know for sure. She may just be hiding. So don't get upset, okay? Don't get nervous for nothing. But they obviously don't have the money. Otherwise, they wouldn't be trying to put the squeeze on you. Three million bucks is hidden somewhere. Either that or one of the gang has it and is keeping up a pretty good poker face until the others give up and fade away. You know what I mean? Come on, eat. Are you going to finish that? No. Oh, okay. Thanks very much. Want some coffee? Oh, no, no, thanks, sir. Uh, makes me jittery. Uh, you go ahead, though. I, I should be pushing off anyway. Maybe I should stay at a hotel or something until this blows over. What do you think? Oh, uh, no, I wouldn't. I, I'd stay pretty close to this place in case uh, Carly tries to call you. Level with me. Do you really think she's okay? She's just hiding out? I'm sure she's okay, Bobby. I'm trying so hard to believe that. I keep hoping the phone will ring and it'll be her. I know this is hard on you. I wish I had some easy answers, but I don't know, sometimes hope's the only thing worth believing in. Oh, God, that is corny. Did I say that? You know, I uh, didn't even thank you for tonight. Hey, what's a couple of teeny weenies between friends, huh? Oh, here, uh, my card. It's got my number on it, okay? You call me anytime, day or night, if you need me. Although, um, you know, it might not be a bad idea if I, uh, if I stayed the night. Oh, I don't think that's necessary. I'll call up a friend. Hey, it's really no trouble at all. I could... Good night, Inspector. Oh, come on. It was Frank long before it was Inspector. Let's stick to Frank, okay? Night, Frank. Good night, Miss Kendall. Talk to me. How you doing? Hanging in there, you? Tense. Can we talk? Bad timing, kid. I'm on my way out the door. Oh, I was hoping you could drop by. You're not going to believe what I've been through. No can do, kiddo. I, I got to work the red eye run to Ottawa tonight. I got a cab waiting downstairs, so I... I really need the company. Can't you get a replacement? This late? Are you kidding, kid? I'm a responsible person. Will you be back tomorrow? You bet. We'll get together then. No sweat. Okay. Tomorrow for sure. Right on. Bye. What does she say to you? Does she know anything? Well, it's a bit early to tell, you know what I mean? Hey, want a donut? Screw the donut, has she got the money? Well, what do you want me to do? Come right out and ask her for it? Jesus, let's just play it my way for a while, okay? This had better work. I've got too much money for my arcade invested. 
to let three years go down the drain without someone paying for it. Just play it cool, okay? Because if you blow it, you blow it for all of us. Then you answer to me. <laughs> You're just a big noise to me, mouth. Don't ever forget, this operation was our idea, our money. We took all the risk, not you. Didn't anyone ever tell you it was nice to share? Cat will cut you in, let him share. I don't trust you as far as I can spit. Hey, how you doing, guys? It's chow time, huh? You don't look too comfortable in there. Oh, well. If things work out the way I'm hoping, I'm gonna buy you a real home, huh? All of your own. Glass condo with little palm trees. You like that? Eat! What's the matter with you? Need a light? Find anything? Nothing. Party time is over, baby. Time to tell us what we want to know. Okay. Now, where is it? No more games. We're going to cut those dainty little fingers off. One at a time. Until you tell us where it is. I don't know where it is. Next time, you start thinking real hard. We'll be back. Look, can't you and I still be friends? <laughs> A truce. Let's trust each other. Trust you? If you can't trust me, who can you trust? Parrish? Grism? Casper? You really think if one of them finds the money first, they're going to tell any of us? Well, if they want to live to spend it, they will. You know, that's what I admire about you. You've got balls. Look, Adrian, come on, save your little tease act for your office boys, okay? It doesn't work on me. All right. 
I want to make a private deal with you. Let me see if I can guess. Um, I find out what the girl knows, and then I tell you, and only you, right? And then uh, we grab the cash and fly off into the sunset. Central Pay is nice this time of year. Nice and cozy. Yeah, and I spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for Grissom and the others. Uh, speaking of Grissom, I had a nice little scene with him today. That is a problem that can be easily taken care of. <laughs> uh, tell me, Adrian, uh, am I the first person you came to, or have the others already turned you down? And this is the thanks I get for thinking of you. Ah, oh, well, I'm not a greedy man, Adrian. I, I just want my cut. That's the deal, remember? When can I teach you to start thinking on a bigger scale? Show some aggressiveness. Believe me, darling. You're meant for bigger and better things. Uh, let's keep it a working relationship, okay? I guess I always knew this was pointless. You're just a loser. And that's all you'll ever amount to. But if you do change your mind, you know where to find me. Adrian? Yes? Don't slam the door on the way out, okay? going to stay the rest of the night, and uh, I've arranged for a plainclothes policewoman to come by tomorrow. Between the two of us, you'll have someone here 24 hours a day, okay? Feel up to a few questions? Okay. Now think, Bobby. Think hard. Is there anything that Carly said or did that might tell us what she did with the money? I guess I should have told you this before. But I promised Carly I wouldn't say anything. She gave me a phone number. Oh, and uh, she wrote something on a cigarette package, a word. The number's over there on the, by the phone. the package. Oh, that's the other thing. I've looked all over the house for it and I can't find it anywhere. You gotta find it, Bobby. It's the key to the whole puzzle. Wait a minute. I'm lost. Look, is there a, a computer in the house? In the den? Why? Yeah, okay. Take me there, all right? Uh, I'm gonna show you something. Okay? Easy. You all right? I'll be fine. Okay. Watch your head. Have a seat. Well, you know how to work any of this stuff? Carly used to set everything up. I just played the games. Well, I know a little. 
Is that how you turn it on? I have an idea. Uh, the telephone number you gave me. I'm going to try something here. Real kill program now being loaded. A game? No, in the game. The answer somewhere in here. It's got to be. Welcome to Thrill Kill, the game that plays you. Uh-uh. Put it down. Over there. Better do as he says, Princess. Anything? No, nothing. Upstairs? Just a lot of expensive perfume. Adrian here loves to smell pretty. Watch her. I'm going to check out back. You have been warned, Agent X. Prepare yourself. the idea behind the game. And on every level, there's a hidden killer. You uh, use this gun, and you blast them. You have to kill them before you can move up the levels. It gets harder every level, I guess. Watch. You have activated an alarm sensor. Beware. Shot unsuccessful. Shot unsuccessful. Beware. Shot unsuccessful. Mission unsuccessful. Play again. Well, I can see this is going to be a long night. What are you two looking for? Three and a half million dollars. No. Really? Tell me about it. Yeah, I got this gut feeling. Corey and you killed Carly. And you got the money. And you're just waiting for us to get tired of the game and go away. Go for it, Adrian. Go for it. Since when did uh, you become an idea man? I thought Casper told you when to shower and shave. Oh, I have lots of ideas. And one of them is getting rid of you and Corey for good. There's nothing here. Let's try Corey's place. Why waste your time? He wouldn't hide it there. Oh? Where would he hide it? Who knows? Him and Bobby are pretty close. Ask her. What's that supposed to mean? Ask Einstein over there. She's just twisting things around. She's got it. If I had it, you think I'd still be hanging around you two clowns? Didn't you ever wonder why Corey dreamed up this whole police thing? If Bobby finds out where Carly hid it, you really think she's going to tell you? Or you? She'll tell him. And you can color him. And the money. Gone. You've got everything figured out. <laughs> well, after I speak to Casper, I'll check Corey's place. I think you smell, Adrian. And this ain't gonna hide it. You coming? In a second. You know, I'd watch him pretty close. Something's cooking inside that microscopic brain of his. Grism's harmless. That's why I like him. But I'd cut him in a second. If I thought he were going to shaft me. That's why you better watch your step. Because I don't even like you.
Good morning. You must be Bobby Kendall. I'm Officer Lewis. Is, um, is Frank here? Good morning. Thank you. Is he still sleeping? He's kind of whacked out. We were up most of the night playing this stupid game. Up and at him, sunshine. It was off. You'd never make a good secret agent. He got killed at least 40 times. Uh, find that passcode, okay? Without it, we'll be playing this game forever. I'll be back here later tonight to relieve Jan here. Um, maybe I'll treat you to dinner if you find the passcode, okay? Got to take care of business. You take good care of her, all right? Let's see you later. Have you eaten? No, as a matter of fact, I haven't. Okay, well, I'll fix us some eggs, and then I'll take you on the grand tour around here. Oh, what should I call you? Janet would be fine. Well, that kind of narrows it down now, don't it? You think Corey did it? Sure he did it. He must have found the money, and now he's decided to cut out the competition. I don't buy that. But I'm not going to hang around like a sitting duck. Look, we can't lose our heads. I'll be back to the arcade and we'll figure things out. What's to figure out? Carly's dead. Casper's dead. And now he's going to try and kill us. Except he ain't going to get the chance. Oh, where do you want these things? Oh, just over here, screen. Okay. Um, what time is it? I've got 5.30. Oh, Frank's going to be here soon. He's a nice guy. How long have you known him? Not very long. He's kind of a loner, sticks by himself a lot. Mm. I think he's interesting. Mm, for a married man. Oh, really? I got the impression he wasn't. With Frank, you got to expect it. The stories I could tell you. What stories? Well, Frank is not one of your most trustworthy people. You just got to take what he says with a grain of salt. You see, he likes to con you. Don't lend him any money, okay? You'll never see it again. Sounds like two completely different people. Um, anyway, so the doctor says, look, lady, you're going to need surgery to remove this thing. She said, who told you to remove it? I just want you to change the batteries. <laughs> yeah, you had to be there in the doctor's office. Oh, thank you. No, it's on me. I insist. No, 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 no. You sure? <laughs> well, this is no time for chivalry. Thank you. I can't remember when I've had a better time. You're terrific company. You're funny. You're nice. And you're honest. I really like that. I only wish we'd met under happier circumstances. <clears throat> Look, uh, Bobby. Something's been eating at me for a while now. I haven't been completely honest with you. I know. Janet told me you were married. Oh, she did, did she? Well, I'm not married. I'm divorced. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, God, this isn't easy. You got a cigarette? I'm all out. I don't smoke anyway. Look, what I'm trying to say is that... Ah, saved by the bell. I'll be right back. Casper's dead. Just simmer down, okay? And tell me about it. He's dead. Who's next? Me? Grism? Who side are you on, Corey? Don't talk gibberish. Uh, look, let's let's meet somewhere, okay? Not with you, you slime. I think Grism's right. I think you killed Casper. I think you found it where the money is, too. Look, I've been with Bobby all night. We just finished dinner. Tell that to Grism. Look, can't you see we got to stay together on this? I hope he gets you, asshole. Just get a hold of him. We'll get together. We'll, we'll try and put the pieces together. You look wrecked. Bad news? Well, uh, could be. 
Look, uh, I'm gonna drive you home, okay? Would it be all right if I left you alone for a little while? I'll be fine. My friend Maggie's dropping by. Will I see you soon? <sighs> I hope so. Unsuccessful. Beware. Beware. Good shot, Agent X. Mission successful. feelings? Derek, is he the one that bites? No. Jerry's the one who bites. Derek's the tickler. Good shot, Agent X. He seemed really out of sorts yesterday. Give me one of those and I'll tell you about it. Take him. My old Carly a pack anyway. Did you take the pack that was here? Don't get so huffy. I'll buy you a whole carton. Happy? Where is it now? I threw it out. It was empty. Was there anything written on it? Just scribbling. What, what was the word? It's very important to me. I don't remember. You've got to think hard. I'm trying. Um, F something. Maggie. OK, OK, let me concentrate. Um, Firelight, that's it. Now, do I win something? Maggie, you're beautiful! Now, watch! Firelight. Firelight passcode now engaged. Program unlocked. You may now press any key to locate currency. Go get us a couple of strong drinks. Sure. Sleep, so please leave a message and I'll get back to you. Frank, I've found it. I've broken into the game. It's at the convention center. The money's in a locker. I've got the combination and I'm going there now. Just put it over here, Maggie. Let's be real quiet, little girl. And you won't get hurt, all right? Where's Gillette? Your friend will wake up with a headache. But I'd worry about your own skin if I were you. 
Now, where's Gillette? I don't know. He left an hour ago. Is he coming back? Is he coming back? Yes. Well, then, let's surprise him. Sit here nice and cozy and wait for our friend Jeanette. Because I've got a big surprise for him. Take me there. What about Maggie? I'll take care of her. Yeah, this is Officer Lewis. I'll need some backup units at the convention center and send an ambulance to 14 Clooney Drive right away. Right. What's all this commotion for? You want to wake up the dead? I'm a police officer. Did a big black guy just come in here? You mean Mr. Casper's friend? Yes, is he here? Yeah, he came through five, maybe ten minutes ago. Where are the lockers? Through the blue hall and down the floor. Is there going to be any trouble? No, no trouble at all. Okay, but I'm going to have to put this in my report. Police business, hey. I'll explain later. Hey, what is this, a convention? I'll give you cover. Don't trust her. She's a phony. She and Gillette are in with us. They'll kill you just as they did Carly. Bobby, wait there for me. Don't move. Don't be afraid, for Christ's sake. I'm trying to help you, damn it!
Go for it, Grissom. guard phoned us. My name is Frank Gillette. I know what you're thinking, but you've got to trust me if we both want to get out of here alive. The man you know as Frank Gillette is a fake. His real name is Corey. He used my name to con you into finding the money for him and his friends. I'm not going to hurt you, but we've got to get out of here now. I know what you've been through, believe me. And I don't blame you for not trusting me. But you're gonna have to, if you wanna get out of here alive. We're wasting time. Are you coming with me? What about the money? Do you have it? I've hidden it. Let's go. Listen to me. You lied to me all along. You're not Frank Gillette. You're not even a cop. This is Frank Gillette, you bastard. You got it all wrong, Bobby. That's not Gillette. There is no Gillette. I made that name up. He's lying. Don't trust him again. Come on, Corey. I thought you'd come up with something better than that. He's no cop, Bob. His name is Schofield. Believe me. He killed your sister, and he'll kill you if you do what he says. That's not true, Bobby. I never killed Carly. He's lying. One of them did it. knew she was dead? You led me on all this time and you knew? None of this has worked out the way it was supposed to. No one was supposed to get killed. I never would have let them hurt you, Bobby. Keep them talking. I'll work my way behind them. If you don't want to hurt me, then go away! I'm not leaving you with Schofield, Bobby. He's dangerous. All he's after is the money. And you're not? Yeah, of course I want the money. And I'm sorry I had to put you through this to get it. I don't blame you for hating me, Bobby, but if you trust Schofield, he's gonna kill you. Bobby, a couple months ago, me and Schofield and Adrian came across uh, Carly's tampering. We all worked at the bank she was stealing from. Uh, we were uh, programmers there. Now, once we found out what she was up to, this, uh, this big idea starts forming in Adrian's mind. Uh, she decides not to tell anyone about the shuffling of accounts and the, the money that had been leaking through. Now, we, uh, we go to Carly, we tell her we know what she's up to. 
That's how we met, uh, we met Casper and the others. Now we tell them we'll make a deal with them. We won't squeal if they cut us in. Bobby, trust me, where is he? He's right behind you! gonna hurt you anymore, okay? Are you sure there's no more Gillettes running around? I promise you there are no more Gillettes running around loose. Hey, come on, we gotta get the hell out of here. No. I want to wait right here for the police and explain everything. <sighs> yeah, we could do that. Hey, look, I got an idea. Why don't we, uh, why don't we split up the money between the two of us, huh? Because it's not ours. Yeah, but no one's even missed it yet. Technically, it doesn't even exist. No, just, just, just hear me out, all right? Now, just think of it as, uh, as compensation for everything you've been through. I mean, you deserve it. Where's the money? Are you going to kill me if I don't tell you? No, I'm going to kill myself if you don't tell me. Come on, Bobby, what'd you do with it? All right, okay, I can see you're confused, all right? Uh, what do you say we grab a bite to eat, okay? We'll talk about it over breakfast. I don't know about you, but I, I can't make uh, major decisions on this. What do you say? Where do you want to go and eat? Um, how about Paris? All right, not Paris. Um, uh, Na Naples, Napoli. Ah, pasta, pasta. All right, forget Naples. You don't like pasta? Okay, um, Budapest. I know this restaurant serves the greatest goulash in the world. Well, I can see you're impressed with that information.
Are you awake? How are you feeling? Bobby, is that you? Painful. It's all right. Pain and me are old friends. Oh. 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 You know, you do a lot of soul searching when you're stuck in here, with a bullet inside you, inches from your heart. I thought you were shot in the leg. Yeah, well, I, I measured it uh, 17 inches from the heart. Look, I just want you to know that. Uh, I admire your honesty, misguided though I think it is, and uh, I want to thank you for getting me off the hook with the cops. I just have one question, Bobby. Did you really give back the money? Uh-huh. All two million of it. Two million? Hey, wait a minute. There was more than three and a half million dollars in that bag. What, 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 what happened to the rest of it? Oh, it's in a safe place. What's that supposed to mean? I'm famished. Have you eaten? Bobby? I hear it's a chicken wing night at Maxine's. Hello, room service? Uh, yes, we'd like a bottle of your best champagne, please. And uh, a magnum of beluga caviar. Oh, and some chippies. <laughs> Really something. <laughs> really <laughs> <or> something. <laughs>